Well, what's going on, everybody? Been a minute, I know. But I wanted to get on here, take a few minutes, clarify some things. Um, apparently, it's going around that uh, Jason left me, abandoned me, fucked me. And to be honest, I really don't even know what that means. I mean, Jason is not responsible for me in any way, shape, or form. I'm a growing man. I can make my own decisions, do what I want, and vice versa. I mean, listen, guys. Jason is his own man. Jason has to do what is good for Jason. Okay? Same with me. Uh... You know, we spent time researching companies and going to different companies, sure. Um, but Jason had no pull whatsoever, rather, you know, let me put it this way. There was never any set thing saying, hey, if I go to this place, you got to go, you have to stay, or what, none of that shit. Um, you know, when, when Jason left here, it was actually before the whole him and Stuart teaming. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is originally his truck went into the shop for air conditioning problems and he went home. And when he got home, Daphne wasn't well. And, you know, I can vouch for that because I've been around her enough to know that she wasn't doing well. But when he got home, she wasn't doing well. And he had to basically put his priorities with her, you know. Um, a week or so goes by, you know, his truck was ready, obviously, but he, he was focused more on her, taking care of her, and, uh, but he was given the ultimatum here to either go get the truck or resign. Well, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Uh, you just resign at that point, you know. Um, but luckily for him, this whole thing with uh, him and Stuart come about. <clears throat> and to be honest, I couldn't be more happier for both of them, actually. You know, both of them are my friends. And uh, the, the gig that they have going on right now is, is great. Um, and I couldn't be any happier for the both of them. I wish both of them the best. And uh, who knows, later on down the road, uh, when they get everything fully situated and uh, get on their feet with that company, maybe in a year's time, uh, you know, I can go on with them. Uh, it just all depends on what happens here at Swift, you know. Uh, I'm not killing it here by no means. Nothing like what I could do if I went over there with them. But they're not in a position to take on anybody right now. Uh, that whole new company has to mature. Um, and it has to grow. And they have to be in the position where they can take on other contractors. And like I said, six, seven, eight months down the road, uh, if they're in that position, I'll probably look at it. Um, the only hinder with me is, is the whole teaming part of it, you know. Um, that whole company is going to be based on, on teaming. So, I don't know. I'd have to really look into that. My point is, I, with that, I'm, I'm just not real keen on that. Uh, if I know you, I trust you, 
that's one thing, but just get in with some random person, yeah, not so much. But uh, that that's here and there, that's ways down the road. I kind of got off base here a little bit, but my point is that the thing that's going around right now that Jason had abandoned me, screwed me over, left me out, you know, to dry and all this other stuff. I just, I don't understand that. Um, Jason had done nothing to me. Uh, you know, we come over here and uh, he just got into an opportunity to where he could better himself. And I'm not mad at that. I ain't gonna be mad at no man or woman that can do something to better themselves. Uh, so I'm not mad at him. He is still my friend. Stewart is my friend. And I wish nothing but the best for the both of them. So uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, so that's that, guys. But anyway, I got shit to do. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.